In today's class, we're looking at how to get the scalar triple product of vectors and also the vector triple product using the Casio FX991 ES Plus calculator. But before then, let's try some few examples before confirming our answer using the calculator. Alright, so let's look at how to do um, scalar triple product and vector triple product using um, the Casio FX991 ES Plus. Now, before we do vector triple product and scalar triple product, we must have three vectors. So here we've defined three vectors A being equal to i plus 2j plus 3k, B being equal to 4i minus 5j minus 6k, and vector C being equal to minus 3i plus 8j and plus 5 plus 9k. So after solving our scalar triple product, a dot b cross c is equal to 6 and our vector triple product a cross b cross c is equal to minus 24i plus 12j so head over to our calculator and confirm these answers this work has already been done um, in our previous classes um, check the description of this video for the links to the classes all right let's head over to our calculator now all right so let's um let's get this done Let's get um, vector triple products and scalar triple products done with the calculator. So first things first, we want to head over to um, setting our calculator into vector mode, which is to come to mode, press mode. Number eight is vector, so press number eight vector. It asks for vector A, vector B, vector C. In this case, I'm working with all of them. So I work with both vector A and vector B and vector C. So I'll press number one, vector A. Number one, I'll also press one again. That's three. So press one again. So you're having this. So impute values. A, A is, a vector A is equal to I plus 2J plus 3K. So it becomes one. That's I equal to plus 2J. So it becomes two equal to plus 3K. So press three equal to. I've defined A. Next, so let me define B. So press A C is off. Then go shift. Press five. Then go to number one dimension. A. So go to vector b that's two so number two i've defined a now i want to define b so press number one that's three press one here so you have this thing here vector b is equal to 4i minus 5j uh, minus 6k so it becomes 4 of i equal to you say minus 5j so it becomes minus 5 that's for j equal to you have minus 6 for k so that becomes minus 6 so press minus 6 equal to so i now have b here all right so b has now been stored so press ac again go to shift press shift um press number five vector now let's get to a that number one there number one dimension so number, number one there dimension let's get vector c so three vector c so press one here press one impute the value so c is minus seven i plus eight j plus nine k so I'm having minus seven first, minus seven I equal to plus eight J. So eight equal to plus nine K. So nine equal to. All right, so at this point, I've saved A, B, C inside my calculator. So let's let's first of all get the scalar triple product. That's A dot B cross C. So how do you do that? You press shift here and then press number five. You can see the three there says vector A. So three vector a i'm having vector a on the board let's now get the next thing there which is dots so press shift press five number seven says dots so press seven i now have a dot next up you want to open the bracket so press this side here to open the brackets i press this bracket sign here this one here so i've opened the brackets so next up is vector b so shift five shift then press five five Number four is vector B. So press four. That's vector A dot vector B. Let's get cross. To get it times, just simply press your normal times. So times. Next up, let's get vector C. So shift and then five vector. Vector C is number five. So press number five here. So it becomes A dot B cross C. Now we want to close the bracket. So close the bracket. So close this like this. It's equal to so the answer is six, which is which confirms our answer. So that's correct. So this is how we do um, scalar triple products using the calculator.
if I want to do vector triple products, it's the same the same idea. I'll just come, I'll just use my left button head over here, change here to cross. So you can see it's now A cross open brackets vector B cross vector C. Press equal to. So you can see that I'm having minus 24 as I, which is correct. That's what we had. Then plus 12 as J, which is correct. That's what we have. And then zero K. That's no K. And that, that's correct. That's what we got. So this is how we do this. Okay. But if I'm to use the normal long method, um, I'll see the same thing there. So shift five. I'm trying to use this long method now. Okay. Shift five, number three, vector A, then press times. That's this. Open your brackets there with this one here. So open the brackets, then shift again, press five. Then number four is vector B. So I'll press four. Also press another times again. So this becomes, uh, okay, I need vector C. So shift um, five. Number five here is vector C. So press five vector C. So you can now see here as being vector A cross vector B cross vector C. This is what is called the vector triple product. If I press equal to, observe I still have the same answer, minus 24i plus 12j and no k. All right, so this is how we do um, scalar triple products and vector triple products using the Casio FX991 ES Plus calculator. All right, so I want to exit from the vector mode. So you see in vector, you can see it here. So press one here mode, press one here, comp. So it's now off. All right, so this is how we um, do this using the calculator. All right, so see you in our next calculator hack class.